Ever since last week in Deepoken, things have gotten a little bit crazy, but this is huge for the future of Deep content. A secret boss alongside a new weapon that nobody saw coming, we're eating good and it's only gonna get better. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we're gonna be talking about something new that's groundbreaking and I'm loving it. The new secret boss, Maestro Evangard Rest of the Vigils faction, dropped last week and sent waves of positivity through the Deepoken community. Although this fight has already already been unraveled by the majority of the player base, I'll give you a small rundown of this interaction before we get started. Maestro's fight is fairly fast paced with a playstyle leaning towards damage and rush down instead of defense. Equipped with some high damage moves and a second phase where he locks in, Maestro can be pretty difficult for those inexperienced. I recommend abusing Maestro's multi-hit attacks with the Providence Thorns enchant or wearing down his block with some type of high pressure move such as Sightless Beam. Currently, to access this fight, I think you must fully complete the Lord Regent's quest to kill Duke and head on over to Maestro with a high medium requirement as well as high Etrus rep. It's definitely a little bit weird, but right now you can only fight inside this arena as a medium weapon user, but here's what's cool. Speculated by the community for ages ever since the game released, Maestro Evangard Rest canonically has knowledge about every single weapon type and claims to teach all of them. I mean, to be fair, it does make sense because he uncaps medium light and heavy weapons. What's awesome is that a statement made by K1, the dev who made this fight, confirms that there will be new weapons dropping from Maestro, also allowing us to take him on with heavy and light options. With that being said, I'm wondering if Maestro will actually change his weapon based on what you're using, since he's supposed to know every single weapon known to Deepwoken. I think it could be a very special fight to see him pick up a great sword when he sees you on a heavy slot just to adapt and fight against you. Moving on to the boss drop, the purple cloud. I'm sure you've all seen it around the community, and you probably have one yourself, but this weapon means a lot for the future of Deepwoken. This option is a fully enchantable katana that benefits from medium weapon talent while being fully equipped with essentially new and original Fist M1s. The purple cloud entirely functions as a medium weapon, but the katana itself only really shows up when you crit, so it's a hybrid weapon without really being hybrid. The purple cloud is one of the first weapons I've seen that has some close range fist capability, but it it doesn't really use any light weapon talents. Regardless, there are creative combos with enchants and mantras that are extremely possible as the purple cloud's potential ascends other medium weapons in the same category. It's just, it's just crazy. Again, the sole existence of this weapon means a lot for the future of Deepwoken. I think it's a little bit unfortunate, but maybe in the future, the purple cloud and other weapons similar to this could gain access to pure hybrid scaling. With a mix of medium and light gameplay, purple cloud builds could access talents from both weapon pools at the cost of dual stat scaling, but it might be a good thing. The same could be said about the Railblade, which might need some medium talents and heavy talents, or even Gun Kata with one-handed gameplay that could use Fist when they use the melee. I want to see a weapon that uses both, but this, you know, it's given me hope. Anyway, I'm rambling, but Maestro Evangard Rest and the rising of hybrid weapons or hybrid style weapons is going to be massive for build creativity down the line in the future of Deepwoken. Let me know your thoughts down below and what you think they'll do, but I'm absolutely loving this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe so we can hit 80k. Thanks again, it's punching time.